Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss uh, one important problem from uh, discontinuity, right? And here uh, we are going to uh, see a simple problem, uh, how to find the points of discontinuity uh, when a function is given, right? So here I uh, will solve a problem uh, which involves the greatest integer function and the inverse trigonometric function. Right. So here uh, we have the problem that we have to find the points of discontinuity of this function that is f of x is equal to greatest integer of 1 over pi times sine inverse x. Right. So here uh, I will find out all the points or all the values of x uh, for which this function is discontinuous. Right. So let us start. So now to solve these type of problems, so what we do, uh, see uh, if we take a function say uh, g of x is equal to greatest integer of x, right? So the greatest integer function is uh, uh, discontinuous uh, whenever uh, x is an integer, right? So whenever x is an integer, that is x belongs to the set of integers and then this uh, function uh, g of x is uh, discontinuous, right? So here uh, we'll use uh, uh, this result uh, to solve this problem, right? So here uh, for x we have 1 over pi sine inverse of x, right? So here uh, this function f of x is discontinuous for all values of x uh, for which uh, this expression which is inside the greatest integer function symbol is an integer right so whenever we have 1 over pi times sine inverse x is an integer then this function f of x is discontinuous right so here i uh, will uh, find all the values of x for which uh, this entire term that is 1 over pi times sine inverse x is an integer. So now from uh, inverse trigonometric function uh, we know that uh, the range of the range of uh, sine inverse x is given by uh, this interval that is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 right so the principal branch is uh, from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 including uh, minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 right so the range of sine inverse x is given by this interval right so now uh, let us find out the range of uh, range of 1 over pi sine inverse x right so if we multiply sine inverse x by 1 over pi, then here uh, the interval becomes 1 over pi times uh, here we have minus pi by 2 and here we have 1 over pi, then we have pi over 2, right? So we'll multiply uh, uh, minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 by 1 over pi. So this interval now uh, reduces to uh, minus half that is pi and pi get cancelled and minus half to half right so now the range of 1 over pi sine inverse x is given by this interval right so now if we take the uh, real number line here we have 0 and here we have minus 1 and here we have plus 1 right so minus half it lies somewhere here right so here we have minus half and here we have uh, plus half right so plus half lies somewhere here now see uh, between uh, these two numbers that is uh, when we take this interval minus half to half uh, we have only this inter uh, integer that is zero right so uh, the range of one over pi sine inverse x is given by this interval minus half to plus half and between minus half and half we have this integer zero right so 1 over pi times sine inverse x is integer uh, when uh, we have uh, 1 over pi and sine inverse x is equal to uh, 0 right 
so 1 over pi times sin inverse x is 0 because 0 is the interior which lies between minus half and half right so now if we solve this uh, uh, equation uh, then we get uh, sin inverse x is equal to 0 and x is equal to sin of 0 and x is equal to 0 right so the only point of discontinuity of this function is given by x is equal to 0.